I mean, it's interesting to know, you know, why you've left Germany. I mean, after all, you're totally different from Fassbinder, but he went back. I mean, he came here and then went back to 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 Germany. And mm -hmm. there's a whole kind of interesting tradition of why people leave, you know, their 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 country. Oh, it's yes. rather interesting for me to find out, you know, in what way in what way you see yourself in the kind of different traditions and what are the reasons that you've left. I find that fascinating. You know, and you've been here long enough for America to no longer be just a fantasy. I mean, there's something here that keeps you here. Well, when I say America, I suppose it's New York, but it might also be the, the whole of America. No, not, I mean, New York, of course, New York, New York. But really what keeps me here is, is really something that I have found much more here in Texas or in in New Mexico or in Arizona, much, much more than in New York. Because New York is, I mean, doesn't stand at all for the for, for America, the United States. No, it doesn't. I would, America is really much more here, Texas, the places where, where we've been shooting lately, and also those empty places in between Texas and California. Arizona, New Mexico. There's something about the emptiness in terms of the landscapes that you like. I mean, there's something uh, that's come up a lot in your films, but, you know, when I was thinking about these brush strokes and everything, and I was trying to work, I mean, I'll see what the film's like when it when it's out, but in a lot of your films there's this kind of fascination with certain kinds of emptinesses and modernity and urban landscapes and I can't quite, I mean I can't actually describe it but I think that you managed, I mean, and, well obviously so does Cameron, managed to make these things somehow quite magical although they're so alienating in lots of ways but... Yeah, because I also like them a lot. And fuck the alienation, but oh, well. I, I really like him a lot. I mean, I like these cities a lot. And the and desert. I, and I really like the desert a lot. I like the desert very much. Do you like the mountains? No, for instance, there you go. But the sea, that's and okay. The, mountain, the sea is, of course, great. Well, the sea is rather like that. It's a kind of big space that... Uh, is constantly changing in little ways, in very sort mm -hmm. of colors and tones and rhythms and things. Yeah, but maybe it's also because I've never been attracted to paintings that had mountains. Whereas I always liked paintings where you saw the horizon, like Dutch paintings. Because it seems that things don't just don't stand out if there's mountains behind. <laughs> <laughs> I get frightened of mountains yeah. because they're very claustrophobic, actually. Mm. When you have conversations with yourself, let's say before you go to sleep, like just now, if I wasn't talking to you, what are the kind of things that you think about? Are they, do they tend to be more practicalities or more to do with the characters? Or do you, do you find the kind of thing of, oh, where shall we go and eat and where, I mean, like you were discussing today, rather nice, and a nice part of making films. I mean, I was just saying to Kit that you seem to be sort of putting your, I suppose in French you would say, a mise en question, but that's what you seem to do, is when you're making a film to sort of put yourself in question a lot of the time. Mm. So you sort of bring in parts of your life and you might say, oh, did I do that or would I do that or... Etc. It is certainly true. So every evening, the question is really not that much what is and how how we gonna shoot this scene tomorrow uh, or any technical stuff, but really the question to go to bed with is really what is it about? Tomorrow? What is this all about? I mean, why am I doing this? When you ask that same question every night? 
Yeah. Otherwise, I just wouldn't know the next morning why I'm at, why I'm at, I'm at, I'm doing it. And if I don't know why I'm doing it, there's no way to do it well. By why, you don't mean in the larger sense. I mean, I hope you don't do things like saying, why am I making this film in a kind of, you know, that's, you make it sound as if it's... No, I'm talking about not the same in general, but the next day's work, so... So, like, tomorrow we go to this little town, which I have seen by sheer accident three months ago, and I've been back once. And we're making this whole trip just to shoot there, we're losing a whole day. Mm. And nothing much happens there anyway. And then he gets drunk because there's no motel. They end up spending the night in a, in a laundromat, which we could have shot anywhere in the world. But to justify that we're going to do it there and why we're doing it there, filmmaking is very much based on very subconscious choices or intuitions. And you, sometimes you're in touch with them and then you really know what you're doing. Sometimes you're not in touch, or you're out of touch with them. You were once, and then you forget. Where this whole, I mean, it's because somehow that you need it. I mean, this energy to make one image after another for ten weeks and twenty every day, so that in the, in the end it tells a story. So it needs a lot of energy. This the the very process of just putting one. Each day adding another little little line here and there and there. It just takes a lot of energy and this energy just doesn't needs to know where it's where it's where it's coming from. So sometimes very simply I also just have to know what the movie is about in the evening. Because in a way every shot is has to be connected to what the movie is about. Well too, it's got to be in a way go I mean, a, a sort of cohesive. I mean, if you're doing a yeah, yeah, but but do yeah. you think it's actually? I mean, I wonder if you do need to be that conscious the whole time. I mean, can't you just let yourself for one or two days say, "Well, I know I've got to be in Nordheim, and I'm not sure why, but I'm just going to let myself be there for a day, and I'll discover when I'm there." Or do you find that you have to give yourself mm, a just reason? Just it too late because filmmaking costs a lot of money and you just can't stand there and wait to discover what you're there for because then you miss it. Well, why do you think you're going to Nordheim tomorrow? Well, it has a lot to do with that symmetry which is not even going to be in the movie. It just has a lot to do with that town and with his with a dream that built the town and is now just a ruin of a dream. And perhaps in a way, in order to be able to understand Travis a little bit better on his travels, as he's, because he revisits the cemetery, doesn't he, of his mother. And he's sort of on this process of uh, trying to discover his ancestors. Mm-hmm. 